Welcome to the LA Story Podcast with Stevie Wilson. Hey people, this is Stevie for the LA Story. Valentine's Night has all kinds of implications for lots of people and what you want out of it is possibly a little sizzle a lot of heat you know some some intimacy with you and your partner we have dr ian kerner who is a relationship expert he knows everything you want to know he's written books about it and he's going to give us tips on how to make valentine's night amazing so how are you dr kerner i'm great it's nice to talk i'm very glad to talk to you uh, you know, the first thing I want to say is, uh, especially for, well, for everyone out there, is, is don't get so hung up just on Valentine's Day or, or Valentine's Night. Really think of this as almost like the new year for your relationship, and it's a chance to really jumpstart intimacy throughout the whole year. So, I, I mean, yes, you know, candies, flowers, gifts, jewelry, all that stuff is really a nice, to ha nice to have, but it's really not must have. Absolutely. I'm, I'm a firm believer in that one. It's kind of like Valentine's Day should be every day. It, it should be every day. And, and in fact, you know, one of the things that I'm really uh, most passionate about is that people should really make uh, time in their calendar uh, on a weekly basis for, for date nights uh, throughout the year. Um, at our website, goodinbed.com, we did a survey of over 2,500 Americans, uh, and, and across the board, more than 90%, in fact, close to 100%, said that date nights were crucial to their relationship, that when they worked, they really improved intimacy and, and closeness. So I don't want to see people getting hung up on just a day but rather really thinking about how can we create that whole lifetime or that whole year of intimacy. Right. And you got some great tips. I know that what people can do. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, first of all, I want to say if you want some ideas, I would say go to KY Brands uh, Facebook page, Couples Place, uh, because I wrote some exclusive date night tip sheets, everything from how to turn your bedroom into a love nest, to day dates, to adventure dates, to, to budget friendly dates. That's a big one because I know that people really have money on their mind and, and a lot of people will forego a date night because they think, oh, I don't have the money for a fancy restaurant. But I really want to tell people uh, it's important to just get out there, whether it's taking a walk together, a, a stroll, a drive, going bowling. Uh, if you want to go to the movies, uh, KY Brand has created Created this awesome new date night pack where they, basically they've taken their great intimacy enhancement products and they've paired it with a ten dollar uh, coupon for two for movie tickets so I mean there's a lot of ways out there you just kind of have to have a little bit of ingenuity and be a little motivated I love the fact that they have a package like that because that's actually what I wanted to do absolutely personally. I know. What, what isn't bad? I mean, the date night pack is, is awesome because it's got some of their, their really fun products. And, like, what's better than, like, a movie and then these, like, hot new KY products at home? Yeah. Afterwards, it makes sure you see something interesting. <laughs> don't make it, like, don't make it the gray. Well, you know, what it really, what, the reason I really, uh, you know, partnered up with KY Brand on this is because, for me, um, great intimacy. People always say, oh, it, it has to happen in the bedroom, but it's really in the bedroom and outside of the bedroom. And to have a great sex life, you really need to have the kind of great relationship that supports it. So I think with products like this, it really focuses on 360 degrees. I agree. I mean, because when somebody asked me about intimacy and things like that, um, that I sit there and say, it's not just about what's going on in the bedroom, even though I feature, you know, different things for people to get interesting with in the bedroom. But the point is, is that it's all in your mind is you can have intimacy outside when you're having coffee and realize or taking a walk or, you know, going to see an interesting movie that you both like. And then suddenly it just makes you brings you closer and that's what really foreplay is all about it's all in your mind yeah I, I i completely agree and you know these days you know both with like the economy where it is um you know people stressed out i know i'm a father of two little boys it's hard sometimes uh to get out and then just even when you're home and you have the time i feel like we often squander it with all these these digital distractions from checking email to to websites and it's great i mean actually technology uh especially when you're apart from each other 
uh, my wife and I, we like to do Skype date nights where we'll just crack open a bottle of wine and, and take some time to really you know, communicate when we're not in the same place. But there are so many distractions that you really have to be focused on how to turn everything into a positive. And I think it's so important to be selfish about your relationships. When you have a great relationship, when you're connected to your partner, when you're intimate, studies have shown everything in your life improves. It, that, that includes work, that includes friendships, relationships with your family, relationships with your kids. You have to be selfish about your relationship. Those are really, really great tips and important things to know because I don't think most people think about it that way and certainly does make a difference for a lot of, we make a lot of difference for a lot of people who are in situations where they're not exactly the most happy. But if you could realize that having an inti a good intimate relationship with your partner could affect your job and how happy you are in your job and how you get, you know, Exactly. It, it all it all comes down Huge. to self confidence and and self esteem. And I know, look, I know how hard it is to talk about these issues. But in the long run, not talking about them is even harder on your relationship. And and again, that's one of the reasons I partnered up with KY Brand. And if you go to their Facebook page, Couples Place, not only do you find more information about these date night packs, not only do you get the exclusive tips that I wrote uh, all about all different date night scenarios, but there's a wealth of of resources in terms terms of video and, and articles that can really help you start a conversation. I mean, Facebook is social media, right? So start socializing with your intimate partner, the person who's right next to you in the room. Yeah, absolutely. And actually, if you think about it, you could actually do some fun things by just texting each other, you know, um, interesting little tidbits back Ab and forth. Absolutely. So. People, we'd like to thank Dr. Ian Kerner for his time today. You can find him online, and you can find he's got books like She Comes First, He Comes Next, and Be Honest, You're Not Into Him Be Honest, either. You're Not That Into Him Either, yeah. And, you can, and what's your website? Well, I would say for everyone to go to uh, KY Brand's Facebook page, Couples Place. That's facebook.com forward slash KY Couples. You can also get some information from me at iankerner.com, but we, we have a lot of great resources up on the Facebook page. Facebook page is definitely, people will find all the links and uh, yep. all the information that you need to do and check out on, the, on my blog. And uh, we'd like to thank Dr. Kerner for his time today. What, thank you so much for some really, really great ideas. Well, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Okay, people, this is Stevie for the LA Story saying see you soon. Bye. Thanks for joining Stevie Wilson on L.A. Story. Feel free to check out other podcasts and videos. Bookmark it now. www.la-story.com